All right, Shalom Akim. First off, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Yahweh Kakodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders and teachers at Great Millstone who root well and teach well. It's Brother Yahweh Shai Zion coming through with a message, man. Lord willing to edify and feed the lambs of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Okay, so I woke up and I was watching a lot of different videos of the brothers and stuff. And, you know, it's a brand new fiscal year. Everybody walking into 2022 with some type of attitude. You know, you're just the same old person, man, you know, and, <clears throat> you know, this is the same old bullshit. This is expanding and expanding the evil, really, is what's going on. But nevertheless, I just wanted to point this out. <clears throat> you got this girl, Kourtney Kardashian, <coughs> and um, she's committing adultery with this guy, Travis Barker, you know, because she's been married before. You know, she's, she already has a child. And she's stepping out on her man, you know, and having sex with this guy now getting matching tattoos. So this is the reason why I'm doing this. The spirit of a man goes on a woman after they join together, they become one flesh, you see. So this is what's happened. And I'll get back to that in a second, man. Um, let me see that. One flesh. Let me see if that comes up. <clears throat> Okay, Genesis 2 and 24 says, Therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother and shall cleave unto his wife, and they shall be one flesh. Now, is that talking about actually being one person? No, it's talking about being on one accord of one mind, you know, one, one piece, one element spiritually. Okay, man is not supposed to be... Um, or these women are not supposed to be dealing with multiple men for this particular reason because it breeds confusion now in america it's totally fine it's new and exciting and happy and you know we're glad that she moved on and we can't do things like this because that's committing adultery and the spirit is out here to correct this knowledge uh, of babylon the great and the philosophy of america aka babylon the great right the land of confusion mystery babylon because nobody seems to know why that this place is like this, but they're just going with the flow. And the Lord called us to go against the grain. Don't go against the flow, okay? That's why you're not supposed to be about this world. But let's go back to the interview, right? Or this little article. It says, Kourtney Kardashian, which is the biggest slut on the face of the planet besides her, her sister. All right, it says, just became tattoo twins with Travis Barker and we have no words. Okay, I don't know what that particularly means, but it says she shared a series of Polaroid snapshots along fiance Travis Barker, which is no such thing as a fiance, Akium. When you sleep with a woman, okay, and don't take this too much uh, to heart now, because a lot of these women are already sluts. But it's the first woman, the first time that she has had sex, that's the time where she is somebody's wife, whether it was forced or not. Because there's laws on that as well. Okay? The first time a penis penetrates a vagina to get graphic, kind of, that's the time where a woman is married to that man. Okay? The first time. <clears throat> and that's what I'm talking about. So it says she shared all these Polaroids and things that she said, quote, or somebody said, quote, this was fun, a fun one working on top of this dope photo of Travis Barker, Courtney Kardashian, uh, it says we used to handle, okay, so yeah, so they think that this is dope, D-O-P-E, which means like cool or awesome in this time, right, this is Blink-182 drummer Travis has voiced his love of tattoos on Instagram, clapping back at a critic earlier this month, when I'm older, I'm probably gonna hang out with other badass tattooed dudes and generally look awesome and that's according to your logic and your wisdom of this world but the lord said love not the world neither the things of the world for all that are in the world are the lust of the eyes the lust of the flesh and the pride of life okay the pride of life and we're not dealing with that shit this shit is prideful and the lord said not to make any cuttings and markings on your flesh but you see what you're doing you putting this shit out here. Look at this shit. Look what you got this girl doing now, man. 
All right, brothers. So, yeah, Salaki, I just had that um cut off or whatever, but I'm back to the spirit. Power, y'all, about Shamil Shai. So, <clears throat> you got this uh, stuff right here. You see what they're doing. Um, I had to record that over, but like, you see what's going on, man? See, that this is his spirit. This is this guy's spirit on her now because they had sex, and now she wants to be like him. That's just how it goes down, man. So there's nothing that anybody could do about that shit, man. You see what I'm saying? Because it's all a, a, a part of the scriptures, man. Genesis 2 and 24. Therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother and shall cleave unto his wife, and they shall be one flesh. All right? So that's the problem right there is that, you know, in the first and foremost, man, this guy is committing adultery. And there's tons of stuff on that. Um, you know, cause you're not, after she's already been married, man, you're not supposed to be dealing with that girl. I don't give a shit how good she looks, man. You know what I'm saying? Exodus, uh, 20 and verse number 14. This is the law, man. You do what you want to do, man. Ultimately is ordained by the Lord. But if you commit adultery, you're going to die, man. All right. Bottom line, Exodus 20 and 14. Thou shalt not commit adultery. I got to go into this once again. All right. Naaf. So it says always with wife of another. Okay? To commit adultery. Always with wife of another. So she's already somebody's wife. Why? Because they already had sex. That's why they've produced a child, you dumbasses out there who think that marriage is with legal documents and everything like that. That doesn't make you married. Alright? And Isaac and Rebecca, when he went into her, alright, he knew her, and if she became his wife. That is what it is. You understand? They went into the tent and she became his wife. There was no marriage ceremony. There was no written, you know, contract, marriage contract shit. All right? The only contract that's out there is the covenant with the Lord. Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Not to commit adultery. And a man's supposed to, you know, deal with his wife and they become one flesh. That's it, my man. You understand me? That's how this thing goes down. You are to respect the Lord or you going to die. Bottom line. You know, I'm sick and tired. You know, this really makes me really, really mad, man. And imagine how the Lord feels. Leviticus 20 and 10. And in the man that committeth adultery with another man's wife, even he that committeth adultery with his neighbor's wife, the adulterer and the adulteress, shall be, shall surely, be put to death. All right, we got nothing else to talk about, man. You, you, you were supposed to die. All right, Leviticus 18 and 20. Moreover, thou shalt not lie carnally with thy neighbor's wife to defile thyself with her. Now, like in situations, you know, back in the past or whatever, um, you know, if, if you needed like heat or whatever and you were in a circumstance where like that was the case, that's why it says carnally. You know, if you had to lay down next to her for heat purposes and there was no nothing else going on and you were in a predicament and y'all were just laying for heat together because you were in a, you know, life or death situation, but it wasn't sexual, clearly, like then that that is a different story. And that's why it specifies carnally because there are instances where that may happen. You may get trapped somewhere and somehow just everybody else died or whatever and it was just you two, you know. And that, that's just what you had to do to survive. That's a different story, man. You're not lying carnally with her. You're not going in onto her. You know, you shouldn't be doing that. Because that's a sin. You know, and that was well understood back in the past. Now it's just like a free-for-all because America and the poison, poisonous snake venom of America breeds this adultery, okay? And what's the Lord say about this? Proverbs 6 and 24, to keep thee from the evil woman. From the flattery of the tongue of a strange woman, lust not after her beauty in thine heart, neither let her take thee with her eyelids. And the scriptures talk about uh, the haughtiness and the whoredom of a woman is known by her haughty looks and her eyelids. So if a woman's got her eye shadow and eye makeup all crazy, she's a whore, man, according to the scriptures. She's a high level ass whore, man. And you could just get away from it, man. Don't deal with people like that. If you see their eyes done like that, you know what it is. 
Now, the women who are decent women, right? And there are women who are virgins out there. I do know one of one, you know, which is wild, but it's out there. You know what I'm saying? A girl I'm talking to now is, is that way. But bear in mind, you know, that uh, it's the looks. When you look at their eyes and they send you a photo or whatever, or they, they may send you a picture or whatever, and you see their eyes, that's how you can gauge it and say, okay, that looks like a, a person who's a little bit more docile than these other whores out here. You know what I'm saying? Now, most of them have committed the acts already in their in their minds, you know, um, and things like that. I'm not going to get all into that, man, because it's going to go down different paths that I don't want it to go. But, you know, bottom line is you could just tell by the look, man. I'm not going to get all into that right now. But it's, you know, the scriptures talk about lust not for her beauty. All right. Verse 25, lust not after her beauty in thine heart, neither be, neither let her take thee with her eyelids. For by means of a whorish woman, a man is brought to a piece of bread and the adulteress will hunt for the precious life. Okay. So these women will consistently keep on pushing for you. Now, there was a girl who I rejected who was absolutely drop dead gorgeous, but I I literally rejected her and she just started coming so hard, man. Like she wouldn't stop. She wouldn't get the message because they're not used to guys going, look, I'm really not interested. You know, you don't know how to deal with a man. I'm not interested in you anymore. And I hope, you know, don't hit me up anymore. And what do they do? They just keep pushing and they keep on hitting you up. They want to send you pictures of themselves and videos and of you, of her. And it's like, yo, I'm not interested. And they keep going because it's that reverse psychology, brothers. The best way to deal with a woman that you really like is to barely express interest and just really not be interested like that you know there's a sweet science involved you know it's ridiculous man and it's just babylonian shit man okay verse 28 anyways man let me uh, matter of fact verse 27 <clears throat> says can a, can a man take fire in his bosom and his clothes not be burned yeah you know you're gonna get hurt by these women man Verse 20, and he, I bet you he's proud of himself too, this nigga, man, because he got, he got Kourtney Kardashian sitting there, you know, with her, her goddamn um, body all tattooed up and stuff and matching tattoos, and they think that that's a badge of honor. Look at me. I marked this bitch. This is my bitch. You know, she's got tattoos now like me, and this is, this is forever a symbol of her outwardly of me, and really, it's a spiritual thing because once you went in on to her, She's got that mark inside of her. She's got your DNA inside of her. You know, brothers, I was watching this forensic file thing real quick. And if you as much as pick up a piece, uh, a glass of water and put it down and then somebody else grabs that glass of water, your DNA will be on their body because they picked up your DNA by grabbing something that you grabbed because you leave a print of your DNA on your skin, which is on your skin. Now imagine if you're going inside of a woman, and I thought about that automatically. Imagine the amount of DNA that's inside of a woman when you go in onto her and have sex with her and you ejaculate inside of the woman. Imagine the amount of DNA that's shared and exchanged in between. There's a lot of DNA right there. And it's very spiritual, man. You know, I'm, I'm really upset. You know, I'm just thinking about all of this, but it's just part of my job to do this, man. So I got to do this video. So again, verse 29. So he that goeth into his neighbor's wife, whosoever toucheth her shall not be innocent. OK, so what, what's going to happen to this jackass asshole? He's not going to be innocent. This guy right here, he's not going to be innocent. And look, he looks like a dead corpse already. You know what I mean? He's already a dead corpse. She's about 42 or something like that. She still looks really good and because she's a whore, you know, and these people have the power of Babylon upon them and the spirit of Babylon in order to allow people to follow suit with their wickedness so that they can look up to this girl and say, look, that's the Kardashians. That's some type of top mighty bitch. But what, what are we supposed to do in regards to judgment? You know, the scriptures talk about the judgment and how it's supposed to be exuded. And we're not supposed to regard these jackasses as anybody. This is Leviticus 19 and 15. Ye shall do no unrighteousness in judgment. Thou shalt not respect the person of the poor, nor honor the person of the mighty. 
but in righteousness shalt thou judge thy neighbor. Right, so adultery is adultery. We don't give a shit if you a mighty person like this Kardashian lady or this guy Travis Barker was a Blink-182 guy, uh, um, you know, which really, that band sucks, you know what I mean? But whatever, the niggas was popular at some point in time with a bunch of, you know, homosexuals and weird people, you know, strange weirdos. This is the word here, good dog. So it says, great. I mean, it says, great, distinguished of men. Uh, great in importance. Yeah, so she's great. And mighty in importance. The Kardashians are very important, as I've laid out on prior videos. They're very important people. When they make a move, people make articles about them, man. All right? Uh, but ultimately, you know, death is upon them. Death, th surely they shall not be innocent, okay? Can a man take fire in his bosom? If you lay carnally with your neighbor's wife, you're going to die, kid. Travis Barker, you are going to die. Kourtney Kardashian, you are going to die a horrible, terrible, awful death. You could get away with this stuff for now, but guess what? The Lord didn't forget. The Lord didn't just disregard what you're doing. He's batting an eyelash at it for now, but he's going to come to collect. He's going to come and take your soul, man. All right. And you're going to be really destroyed. So, hey, look, man, if this is your first time watching the channel, repent. For the kingdom of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is at hand. And he's E online people, Shalak Rayam on them as well. All right? And Shalak Rayam on Kim Kardashian as well. Committing adultery with that other guy. This adultery is just is nothing to them. They don't give a shit, man. It's just moving on. Look at her with her little cockroach bangs. You're a goddamn cockroach, man. And the Lord's going to kill both of these people in this picture right here. Both of them looking dead with a dead spirit. They're spiritually dead, man. All right, repent, man. Like I said, for the kingdom of Yahweh Shemiah was shy at hand. Shalom.